Here are the top tips and tricks you can use to make EV and plug-in hybrid charging easier. Let's talk about the different types of chargers. They're classified into three levels based on the amount of kilowatts they can deliver to the battery. Think of it like a hose filling up a swimming pool. The bigger the hose, the faster the pool fills up. Level one chargers use a standard 110 volt outlet like those throughout your home. These have the longest charge times, but allow you to use nearly any outlet. Level two chargers utilize a 240 volt outlet that can fully charge vehicles like this Kia EV6 overnight. This is the kind of charger you'd have installed at home, and they make up the majority of public chargers. DC fast chargers are public stations capable of delivering up to 350 kilowatts of power. A charger like this can take this Kia EV6's charge from 10% up to 80% in as little as 18 minutes. So how can you make charging easier? Have a home charger installed if you can. You'll be able to charge every night. Essentially, it turns your garage into a private fueling station. Charging at home also allows you to schedule charging for off-peak hours. These are times when overall electricity usage is lower, like in the middle of the night. Many utility companies offer lower rates for charging during off-peak hours. When you can't charge at home, there's an ever-growing number of public chargers available from companies like Electrify America. It's helpful to sign up for one or more of these networks and download their mobile apps in advance so you're ready to charge when you pull up. It's also helpful to pinpoint public chargers near places you frequent, like your workplace or grocery store. With these Kia vehicles, you can do that through the available Kia Connect app or through the touchscreen if navigation is equipped. There are also online tools that will help you locate public charging stations. The last charging tip I have for you is easy. Use regenerative braking. Many EVs and hybrids like this Nero EV can use the magnetic resistance of the electric motor to help you recharge the battery as you decelerate and brake. It activates as soon as you lift your foot off the accelerator and continues until the vehicle comes to a complete stop. It has a different feel than traditional brakes, so some people prefer to turn this feature off, but it can really help you recover energy to your battery. The Kia EV6, for example, also has a feature called iPedal, which can automatically optimize the amount of energy gained from regenerative braking. It even allows you to customize the level of regenerative braking with the paddle shifters. Those are the top tips and tricks for charging electrified vehicles. For more on EVs and hybrids, check out the rest of my EV education series. Kia, movement that inspires.